Uh, Republican voters out there, Trump voters, did y'all vote for Donald Trump? Hey, look, are you starting to figure out how tariffs work yet? Uh, the, the mainstream media is starting to talk about it now for some reason. Um, now they're, now they decided it's time to start explaining to dumb people how all this stuff works for some reason. It, it's as if that, uh, while this whole election was going on, they didn't want people to know exactly how that would work because they wouldn't have went out and voted for Donald Trump and Republicans had they known that. And they wanted to keep it close because, you know, ratings and things like that, uh, because, you know, politics is, uh, basically no, no more important than a football game, according to them. Uh, but now then they're starting to explain to you, have you, have you been paying any attention? Have you, uh, how that works with that, uh, that the uh, importer inside this country is going to be the one that pays that tariff when they bring them products over here. They don't receive them until that tariff's paid. And then they're like, holy cow, that was expensive. Let me pass that cost down to the people that's buying this product from me. And then those people are like, holy cow, that's expensive. I'm not going to buy that product. Uh, therefore, uh, we have, you know, uh, recession. And people start losing their jobs and all that fun stuff. So are you figuring it out yet? Because it's coming to a theater near you real, real fast. Okay. Um, it, this isn't like normal inflation that takes time to build and build, build. No, it's instant, instantaneous inflation. Okay. So just want you to know that's just want you to know that we can't blame Joe Biden and Kamala Harris or any other Democrats at all. We can blame ourselves and we can blame Donald Trump and we can blame Daddy Vladdy for brainwashing all of us stupid people. That's what we can do. Um, now then, oh, by the way, if you are a Republican and you did not vote in this election because, you know, you didn't like Donald Trump, you didn't like Kamala Harris, hey, go to vote.org and see if you voted. I bet a lot of you did, even though you don't think you did. Uh, just check it out. Uh, but anyway, uh, aside from tariffs, y'all, um, uh, I got on me some MAGA lives, y'all, to find out what we're thinking about this whole Senate situation there. And that Mitch McConnell coming out and, and showing that he's actually more loyal to the United States than he is Donald Trump. I mean, how dare he be that way? Um, and he's trying to make it so that, you know, there's responsible people uh, leading the Republican Party there in the Senate to keep Donald Trump from just making himself an all-out dictator and stuff like that and pulling out of NATO and siding completely with Daddy Vladdy on every issue and stuff. They're trying to, trying to keep it as, uh, Undictatorship as possible there, and it boy it ticks us off. I I watch us all be mad because we don't have a corrupt loyalist uh, in there as a Senate Majority Leader yet. So, uh, so that's what the way we're thinking is. Um, since we already have just flushed the country down the toilet with a uh, voting for Donald Trump, let's go ahead and make sure that that goes all the way down. You know, goes all the way down so that we've got a loyalist in the Senate too to make sure all this crap happens to us. Um, speaking of crap happening to us, um. Goodbye uh, to your social safety net, see, because Leon Musk is going to cut $2 trillion out of the budget. Guess where that's coming from? It's coming from people who receive any kind of government assistance, uh, whether it's even Social Security, Medicare, food stamps, all of that stuff is going to be what's cut there. So, hey, rural people that live out there in them red states that voted for Donald Trump, you know, the ones that you know I'm talking to, you that's on welfare right now, you that's receiving government assistance, but you're just, you're always mad about that government assistance because you know somewhere in the back of your mind that there's people in this country uh, that are also receiving that same government assistance, but they don't look like you. And boy, it drives you crazy. And you're thinking to yourself, man, if those people that don't look like me uh, wasn't receiving that government assistance, I could get more of that. So you blame them for it. Uh, you, that's who I'm talking to. Hey, you're going to uh, suffer the most. That uh, You are going to suffer the most uh, in a new uh, Trump economy. I just want to go ahead and let you know that ahead of time. Again, we can't blame nobody but but our dumb selves and Donald Trump. All right? Hey, another thing. Um, we should be real concerned uh, with the fact that J.D. Vance just come out and said that if, uh, if uh, the European Union doesn't agree... Uh, to start allowing Daddy Vladdy to brainwash in half of their public like they just did to us, uh, that we're going to pull out of NATO. That's what J.D. Vance said, that, that, if, that if, uh, if Europe don't allow the Twitters to just run Russian propaganda amok all amongst their people, that we're going to pull out of NATO. Now, what connection does NATO have to the social medias? Huh? None. None. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have any in it at all. Um, so uh, that should tell you everything you need to know about the reason why that you voted the way that you did. See, it was Daddy Vladdy. See, because that sounds like something that Daddy Vladdy would say. Hey, America, um, if you don't help me brainwash Europe like I just did you, pull out a NATO. 
Um, so um, all of this stuff about uh, Republicans and Donald Trump being all connected up with Daddy Vladdy and Russia and stuff like that, doing the bidding of Russia, absolutely 1,000% true. Turns out, huh? How foolish are we? Hmm. We should feel like idiots if we did, in fact, vote for Donald Trump. It didn't look like many people really did, though. And, and that's mighty suspicious. I wonder if that's being looked at. Uh, so anyway, nothing but bad news uh, for Trump supporters going forward uh, and the rest of America. But at least the rest of America uh, has the ability to sit back and laugh at all of us with a bunch of I told you so's uh, while that leopard eats on our face. Inmate Trump.